Mold Theory, Final Exam, Part 1. Uh, essentially, with the final exam, just make sure you go to the Vertani1.com mold design.html. You'll see there's the final exam gray button, which will bring up the Word document and the part. Go ahead and click on the Word document, and here you can see the instructions. Our goal is to create the cavity in the core that you see there for this particular part. It's not a over challenging part because it's a planar parting line but there are a lot of shutoffs and things like that that have to be added then you use this as your template so your midterm drawing make sure you use that as your temp template and create a drawing very similar to that also we create a tool path using mastercam 2017 at the very end as well so let's begin go back and click on the final part and if you don't get this download button, click on the download up here in the upper right corner. And it should appear down below. At this point, you can just click on it, and it should launch automatically in SOLIDWORKS. At this point, it will ask us, do you want to proceed with feature recognition? Feature recognition is very nice, but not in this case. No, it will take too long. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this part and make our cavity and core from it. So make sure you have your mold tools on. Again, if you don't see the mold tools tab, right click on any of the tabs that are available and find mold tools and check it. Now we could go up here, make sure the mold tools is selected, go to the insert mold folders, and we're just gonna work our way from left to right on these options here. So click on insert mold folders. Now remember, this is a basic mold. This is not. I'm not going to go into all the core pins and things like that, or ejector pins or gates. Uh, we're just trying to make a cavity and core in this case. Um, and so now that we have that started, we're going to go and click on parting lines. And what we need to do, go to View, and Hide and Show, and turn on Temporary Axes, and look for the the, the one right in the center there. Okay. If you can't get it from the top, go underneath and grab it. So basically, we could use, we use that for our parting line direction. And you just click on it when it turns orange. Hit draft analysis. And for the most part, you can see there's draft. In real life, you would probably add draft at this point on these surfaces. Again, for the sake of keeping this to a, a minimum amount of time, I'm not going to put the draft on. We've already learned that in exercise one. So now, just go ahead and hit the green check mark. At this point, we can now go to the shutoff surfaces. And the reason for the shutoffs are these areas here, because these are connection points between what would be known as the cavity and the core. So just click on shutoff surfaces. And it should identify loops. Now, again, if they're not the ones you wanted, you can select other options and de deselect these ones and uh, make them in different locations, which is very common. It doesn't always bring up the exact ones you want, but in this case it did a pretty decent job of adding all these. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the green check mark. Be aware if there's fillets on the edges, um, that causes problems. Unfortunately, in reality, we do have fillets um, on many of these edges to break them. So um, in the in the event you have that, you might want to suppress a very small fillets that uh, will enable this to work. Otherwise, there are other options, as we saw in exercise three, where you do things manually. It's just it's very time consuming. This actually speeds things up, but it's not always going to work, unfortunately, on on real parts. So, um, take some skill there. Okay, now we go to parting line surfaces, and you can see that all these have been a surface has been added in these little sections here, so there's no more openings. So it's like a, a watertight boundary condition between cavity and core. Now click on parting line surfaces and extend this surface out. We'll uh, extend it out about a half inch and then hit the green check mark. And so now we have a surface that's extended out in that direction. What we're gonna do is we'll utilize that for the next thing, which is the tooling split and go ahead and select the parting line surface. And now you'll notice we're in a sketch function. Click on that surface again and we're going to use the exterior to convert entities. And now you have to click on the exits or this uh, sketch button up here, the upper right. And now we can see our split is occurring. 
Now again, you would want to make sure you give yourself enough room for uh, any additional items that are going to belong in the mold, such as cooling lines and things like that. I'm going to uh, leave the black size at, uh, let's see here, we'll make a point, or actually we'll make it one for the top and one for the bottom. We'll just make it even. That's a little thick, but let's go ahead and go with it. Hit the green check mark, and now it should have made the two bodies. Uh, we could see these if you hit the little arrow to the left of bodies, and you'll see there's three in there. We have the actual parting line, which you could uh, hide that one just by clicking on, right clicking on it and going to the eyeball, and that will hide that inside there. And now we could actually, let's say, we want to um, look at the core. We could click on the core and hide that, and now we could see the actual uh, the parts still in there. That's uh, actually we could right click on that and hide that as well. And there, and also we could go to view, and we no longer need to see all those temporary axes. There we go, and now we could actually see the core side. Now, if we want to flip it around, we could hide that and right click over here and show the cavity side. Oh, and again, I got to right click on the part there, and hide it. And now there's the cavity side. Okay, so at this point, we could now separate these out. So if I want to make the cavity separate, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and save selection. And also here, let's isolate. Isolate enables you to see it. We'll save it as display state one, hit OK. All right, um, at this point, we could actually build on this. We could select this face here, and we will click on the rectangle tool and infer to the center and build our steel around it. And then also we could select this face and go with convert entities. Now we could extrude that and extrude it down to the base. And now we have our stock size. Okay. Let's separate this into a separate part for an assembly purpose. Right click on boss extrude up here under the solid bodies, which is our cavity, and we can now um, insert into new part. And we'll call this the cavity F. Oops. Actually, let's go ahead and click on the browse button there. And now we could rename it. Okay, and we just saved that as its own part file. And so then when we want, we could go ahead and call that up for the second part of this exercise, or this uh, final exam. And that concludes this part. The next part will be to actually create the uh, toolpath for that.